Hello, everyone, and welcome to another program of Today with Ward. I'm Ward Simpson on the set today in the studio with me, a very dear friend, a special guest who once upon a time was an atheist. But dear friends, God got a hold of her. She was a bona fide atheist, but God got a hold of her. Just like God's going to get a hold of you today. If you have a friend or a family member who doesn't believe in God, why don't you give them a call right now and tell them to tune into God TV and let them hear this amazing testimony of how God took an atheist, touched her by the power of the Holy Spirit, and turned her life around to where she's now a champion for the gospel of Jesus. Before I introduce you to our dear friend, Sheila, I want to remind you about a series we have been broadcasting on God TV. It's called Adventures in Odyssey. It's an animated series brought to you through Focus on the Family. Take a look at this and we'll be right back. Life-size, three-dimensional, ultra-realistic insectoids adventure. of being the greatest game player ever. That is why I am now prepared to make you an even more attractive offer. Hey! Aha! What's this? It's my Bible. So it is. Whoa! So what's all this about, Eugene? You researching an educational kid show or something? You should come join us once in a while. It's amazing what you'll learn. Praise God. I hope you enjoy Adventures in Odyssey. I hope your kids enjoy it. I enjoy them as an adult. So we thank God for Focus on the Family. And we thank God for what they're doing to advance the kingdom of God and to touch our children through these animated series. Please keep them in prayer and also go to their website and encourage them and thank them for being on God TV. I know they would love to hear from you. Praise the Lord. Well, I want you to hear this testimony all the way over the ocean, from the nation of Australia. Listen to this wonderful testimony, and I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Gloria Watkins. I'm from Mandra, Western Australia. The location here is absolutely beautiful, and I've been here in Mandra for almost 20 years now. The Lord has told me to go up to the Kimberleys and to, to minister to the Aboriginal people. I think a lot of the Christian people in Australia need to stand up and see what's going on with the suicide, not only in the Kimberleys, but also in the country areas. You know, and that's how the enemy is trying to come in to take our Aboriginal kids these days, youths in Australia by, by suicide. But having God TV in their homes, would be the best medicine, God's medicine, in there. I was watching God's TV and Benny Inn was talking about with the shift in the spirit and I actually felt, okay, this is, this, this is for me, this message is for me. Lift your hands to heaven and say, I am blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. I am chosen and I am holy and I am blameless and I am loved my nephew my two nieces rang me and said we want to give our, our heart to the Lord can you pray for us I was just overwhelmed I was just like Thank you, Lord. Now I got that answer that I've been waiting for, that you were taking control of my family. A week after, I had another nephew that gave his heart to the Lord as well. He was on drugs. He just says, Aunty Gloria, I've had enough of this worldly thing. Could you please pray for me and say the sinner prayers for me? It has actually boosted me just watching God's TV. I want more and more of Christ and not of man, not of this world. There's a lot of support through God TV, no matter what you're going through. It could be drugs, it could be suicide, it could be alcohol. Just knowing that what the Lord has, has for everyone through watching God TV, it's a blessing. 
Hey, if you're struggling at the moment with your family that, um, that doesn't know Christ, just believe in your heart that the Lord will bring them to his kingdom and only his kingdom. So Lord, we just pray right now that you'll bring these, these family members to know you and you alone, dear Father God. For those that are wanting to seek you now, dear Lord God, we just ask that you just touch them now, that your river of life, that your blood of Yeshua will flow through every vessel, every organ, every part of their body, dear Lord God, every cell. So Lord, we just pray right now that you just go before them and bless them, dear Lord God, and that they will receive the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you to all your partners out there for all your support with everything that's happening is um, helping in the Kimberleys and here in Australia. Thank you. Praise God. I hope you enjoyed that testimony all the way from Australia. We receive testimonies every day from all over the world. I have a, a stack here with me um, today. Here's one from Norman says that he was just able to get God TV for the first time. And, and uh, he says that God TV has so impacted his life through the ministry, that, and especially the live events. He says it's not like just a regular TV show. And we know it's Holy Spirit that does it. So thank you. With us today is Sheila Booth Alberstadt. Sheila, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. I met you at the Bay Revival. Yes. Um, I didn't know you were an atheist. I always saw you as an on fire woman of yeah. God. So, <laughs> our viewers, I set this program up today to say you're going to meet an atheist, yes. a past tense right. atheist. So, right. just look at that camera and talk to them for a minute. Okay. Forget me. Okay. <laughs> they want to know what yeah. made you change. Okay. Yes, I was uh, raised as an atheist and. Um, and my little sister, who was a drug addict who lived in Florida, uh, crystal meth for 15 years plus, um, wanted to come detox at my home. And so I didn't know what to do with her. So I contacted one of my neighbors who uh, went to um, the church, your church, and wanted me to come and bring her because you know I didn't know what to do with her with medical conditions and, and such. So I brought her. Um, just out of, okay, I'll do it. But kind You're of, an atheist at that time, you brought it. Right. Okay. Now, she had invited me to church a hundred times, and I kept saying no because I really, I mean, I, I viewed uh, Christians as being very weak and um, strange. And so when she asked me to come, it was kind of just, I don't even know why I said yes, but I just said, okay, I'll come. So, so the day that my sister got there, um, you know, I warned her and told her it was not an intervention. So we get to the church. To make a long story short, um, she was on the pro in the process of detoxing, and um, and not only did God completely radically set her free, He did something to me, and there's no explaining. There's I know it's an Ezekiel 36 uh, born again experience, and I went in one way and came out a completely new creature in Christ, and. Um, she was set free. She uh, didn't have withdrawal. She didn't shake. She didn't uh, get sick. She didn't sweat. Um, she left. I left that building three hours later. I really don't know what happened to me. Um, I wasn't out in the spirit. Nothing happened of that nature. Uh, I just went in and I was praying, God, please take away her addictions. And I'm thinking, okay, if you're real, then, then this is the place to do it. So it was like I was, <clears throat> excuse me, begging him, please, God, take away her addictions. Wow. And the very next thing- But you thing, were praying even though you were an atheist. Well, you know, I mean, <laughs> I do atheists really. I mean, what happens when they're desperate? Right, so, there you go. So, uh, so that always gives me hope with anyone who's, who doesn't believe in, in God because I was that person. Wow. And so when we left the, uh, or one really neat thing that I want to share is what happened to me is um, I, I, I didn't have any upbringing of God, Jesus, or the Holy Spirit. I knew of God, and, um, and, but I didn't know who Jesus was. I literally did not know anything. Had never read a Bible, had never been to church, um, was ridiculed, even if I talked about God, you know, to my Norwegian family, because that's where I'm originally from. And, um, and so when this experience happened to me, I remember closing my eyes and crying. All I could say was, I'm so sorry, I never knew you. And now when I look at it, I'm just amazed because in, in awe, because that was truly, I was repenting. And so my heart was pierced and you know, it was the born again experience. I came out of the dark, 
you know, in the, saw the light. And what does a baby do? They cry out. And I was crying out and, um, and just saying, I'm so sorry, I never knew you. And then I ended up, um, you know, we're supposed to go to the breast for, spirit, for milk, you know, as a newborn, but, and we're supposed to go to the Word as a, as a newborn Christian. But I made the mistake of going to man because I did not, the Bible was overwhelming to me. And I didn't know, I had all this knowledge and knowing of him here because it was, I was truly so hungry for him. But I had no knowledge in my head and I couldn't make the two connect to get it out of my mouth. So I would just go to man. I went to every church door that was open, uh, listened to every tape, uh, YouTube video. And, and eventually I had some golden nuggets, but I had a lot of false things as well. Yeah. And, um, and it wasn't until one day um, God spoke to me and he said, get out of the Christian books, get out of all the videos, get out of it and go read what my son said. Mm. And that is when my life completely changed as I went into the, literally I went into the woods with my best friend and we um, studied Mar Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And, and I recommend that for anybody and everybody because I was a born again believer. Um, I was on fire. I, I, I didn't know um, how to uh, understand the Bible, but when you start praying to God and asking him to remove what false things man has taught you and just to, to you know, pray for his understanding and his wisdom and knowledge, so that you can be set free because it is the power of the, of the truth. Thank God for his word. Absolutely. Thank God for his word, Sheila. What would we do without the word of God? It is the only truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Amen? Absolutely. Amen. Praise Absolutely. God. The word of God. My pastor kisses his Bible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sheila, when you said you were from Norway, I just read, the, found this testimony. I can't pronounce that name. How do you pronounce that name? Can you? Oh, I don't have my glasses oh, okay. on. <laughs> well, I it's um, <laughs> Vela Kini. Okay. Does that sound right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, Vela Kini from Norway. Yeah. And this is a testimony. I love watching God TV all the way in Norway. Yeah. I want people around the globe to hear the good news and be touched by his words and glory. I want to sow now into rich soil so that my harvest will be plentiful. Wow. So God TV has a global audience. Mm -hmm. we're, we're over 300 million homes and around the world so we thank God for you and we know that this message that you have today is going to grip hearts and lives so after that amazing testimony of what God did for you I just want to talk to you for a minute those of you watching you know when Sheila was drastically touched by God she had a supernatural encounter you could say it was the fire of God the lightnings of God you could say it was all kinds of stuff that happened to her but there was no manifestation one of the um, problems Sheila with some of our um, Pentecostalism, maybe, you know, charismatic services, sometimes there's a little bit of flakiness in there, weirdness. Mm -hmm. And um, we always tell people that the weird people that came to our church, they were weird <laughs> when they got there. <laughs> so we didn't make them weird. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's important that, that nothing happened to you of any manifestation. Right. So um, we praise God for, for mm -hmm. what he did. And I know there are people watching right now. So tell us more about what happened and share what's ever on your heart. Well, I'd like to touch on that for one second uh, about the no manifestations or what have you. There weren't. And, but, but what I viewed in other places, I was chasing that because I wanted that. Right. So it's kind of, you know, I really want to speak into the hearts of anybody that is listening who feels, you know, why do, why doesn't my life look like their life? You know, they they fall out in the spirit. They do this. They do that. And um, I mean, I've done it all. I've been on the scope the, from an atheist to a Pentecostal, and but it's it's it doesn't matter. The most important and the most amazing miracle of all is a regenerated heart, is a born again heart. That is the miracle. And then everything else, just you know, let God let God do it. You just. Open your mouth and share the word of God and the truth of the word of God, and he will do the rest. And wow. so my life has changed radically because of that um, uh, experience, but, but really it, it manifested more so in my realizing the assurance of my, of my uh, born again being a Christian. Um, so we've got a minute in this segment, then we're going to come back for another segment. 
But before we break, before that um, dramatic change in your life, you were an author. Right. And what were you writing about? Uh, I was writing books about health and hygiene for children uh, called Maggie McNair, and it was a series of books. But when this experience happened to me, I could no longer write about health and hygiene because all I wanted to talk about was Jesus. Amen. So Maggie yeah. got saved as well. Huh? Yes, she did. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> when we come back, you're going to hear what happened after Sheila got saved. She went from an author talking about health and hygiene to an author pointing the way to the cross to your children. We want to... We want you to hear about what God's done and what God is doing through Sheila. So uh, before we do that, let me tell you about the God TV blog. Sheila, we have a blog. Mm -hmm. You can go to God.tv and there's a blog there. And we have writers from all over the world and we invite I you to join have, us. I've, I, yeah, oh, yeah. I, oh I have, great. Yeah. Praise God. Yes. So, she, so you are a blogger. Yes. <laughs> so will you do me a favor? Tell them about the blog and then and, and throw to that piece. Tell right. them watch the, uh, how to become a blogger. Watch this piece. So yes. tell them about it. Yes, okay. you just go to God TV and you go to the blog section and uh, you just put in the information, your story. They have editors. Um, if they, if it's something that fits in that in that season, then they'll use it and contact you, and and yeah. you go from there. But it, it does it reaches a lot of people. It reaches a lot of people. So we want you to join our blog team. Be a blogger on God TV and get your words and your message out to the whole world. Watch this, and we'll be right back. For faith, lifestyle, music, and more, visit the God TV blog. Read articles that inform, challenge, and encourage. Watch insightful videos and enjoy discussion and debate with the God TV community. With no subject off limits, the God TV blog is a robust and thought provoking online environment. Visit blog.god.tv today. Welcome back. I'm talking with Sheila Booth Alberstadt, an author, woman of God, former atheist who God has transformed her life. You were writing about Maggie. Right. And it was about health and hygiene for kids. And now you're talking about the cross of Jesus. Right. Amen. Tell yeah. us about Maggie. Right. So Maggie is a, a little tomboy character, and she had some bug friends because we wanted to appeal to boys and girls. And uh, But once I became born again, once I became a Christian, a true radical Christian, I could no longer talk about health and hygiene because I would go to schools and do presentations. And so I would find myself talking about Jesus um, until I got sent to the principal's office for talking about Jesus in a public school and offending people. Mm -hmm. And then I realized I can't do this anymore. So, um, but the, the desire of my heart, God really placed on my heart because I had six children under my house and not one time did I ever talk to one of them about Jesus. Mm. And and so when this experience happened to me, that became my mission, was to teach them. And, of course, I had some that were older that were leaving the nest. And it was a little late because once they're in their teenage years, it's really hard because their hearts become calloused and hardened to the world. And with social media, that's another, you know, obviously a uh, hindrance. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I created nine bugs, all representing a fruit of the Spirit, and then Maggie. So the bugs are actually teaching Maggie, what holy peace is, what holy love is, what holy um, kindness is, because we have to remember, we have to understand God's holiness before we can even understand who God is. Wow. And if we don't understand his holiness um, and teach our kids about, you know, we're not comparing, um, if a child says, but but everybody else does that, well, we're, we're not comparing ourselves to the world's standards. We're comparing ourselves to God's standards. Mm -hmm. And so, so really to teach children to know who they are in Christ, uh, to teach them the truth about the, the gospel, the simple truth, not the added on and the taken away, but the true gospel that sets a person free. Yeah. And, that's, and that's what Maggie Praise McNair, yeah, her God. world does. And now uh, Maggie's becoming animated. Yes. We have a clip we're going to show. But tell us a little bit about this animated series. Well, there's an animation team that worked for Disney and, and Pixar and Sony, and uh, we teamed up, and I went out to Hollywood and um, met with some agents, and everyone kept telling me that I needed to water it down. They didn't really use the word water it down, but they wanted me to take Jesus out, and they wanted me to take the Holy Spirit out, because I went from writing books to script writing. But I was not willing to compromise. 
And they said, well, you can just kind of add in God and the character and, you know, just make it really pure and good and lovely. But, but I, I, I just wouldn't do it. So I walked away from that, took a break for a while. And, um, but, I, you know, I know that this belongs to God. So he's going to open that door to make it happen. We're just right now in the process of working with um, an animation company in India. And so, uh, but they have different animation companies in, in, in Colombia and Australia and the Netherlands. So, Praise God. Yeah. Amen. So. Sheila, let's show our audience around the world a short clip sure. of what God's doing through sure. Maggie. Okay. Watch this. We'll be right back. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This, this little, little light, of, light mine, of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Was I singing off key? No, Firefly. I just wish I had a light that shined like yours. But Maggie, you do have a light inside of you. Oh. If God can make a buck's bottom light up the night sky, you can be sure he has even bigger things planned for you. Thank you, Firefly! This big light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This big light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Do, 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 do. Wow, Sheila, that was amazing. Thank you. We could watch it a hundred times. I cannot yeah. wait to see that animated series. Yeah. So we're gonna pray for you that these folks in India will work out. If not, uh, let us know so we can get um, the message out to all the producers around the world. Absolutely. And uh, let's you. see if we can get that series going. We've got to get it out. Yes. It's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so tell us a little bit more before we close. We've just got a few minutes left. We're excited yeah. to hear what God's doing in your life. Well, I am, uh, of course, God comes first in my life. And um, so the Maggie Project is, is really my second job besides my family. And, uh, but God comes first. And uh, so I have this, you know, hunger inside. And, and so I really concentrate on, I want to do God's will. That's what I always put for, forward every day is I want to do God's will. And uh, so I go into the jails in the local area and, and really share with the broken women and the lost. And uh, that's been really powerful. And it, it's, it's someone who's come out of being broken because I was definitely a broken soul and 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 who now where I'm at I can really relate to a lot of the people in the jail because they're I'm no better than they are it's just that I know God mm. and so that's important that's one of my is just opening my mouth and sharing the gospel amen. with whoever I can wow amen praise God well we have people watching all over the world today and we're going to encourage them to go to your website Thank you. and to be an encouragement to you and to pray for you and that we take this message of Maggie mm. um, you know we have to raise our kids up Yes. That's the problem in today's society. We are brainwashing our kids the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. Hollywood has their attention. Social media has their attention. And we are teaching our kids to be anti-God, yeah. anti-Word of God. And dear friends, we need the message of Maggie for our children. Mm -hmm. There's a battle on for your child. So today is not about fun and games. Today is not just having an interview with Sheila. Today is not just talking about a book or a movie. Today is talking about warfare. There's a fight yes. in the heavenlies for your child. And Hollywood, dear friends, influences your child more than you do. Yeah. And that's why, dear friends, take the Word of God. Teach your children the Word of God. You know, the Bible is the only measuring device. That's how you measure everything. That is the mm -hmm. standard by which you should measure every decision that you make with your children. So, Sheila, before we go, just talk to our audience. Pray for them. Maybe, the, maybe they have kids that are away from the Lord. Maybe they're in their own lives. They're struggling. Mm. Maybe someone's in prison watching right now. Just right. minister to them for me. i just like to speak to all of you and, and encourage you that, that we have to understand that we can't make things happen. You know, God does the increase. We can just pray and we can believe and we can have hope, and especially for our children. And just keep being that light in their lives. And I just pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I just pray that you, that you have that discernment, that wisdom, and that knowledge to speak into the lives of, of your children. And to be that light because the eye is the lamp, as Jesus tells us. And it gives us light to our whole entire body. And when the eye is good, 
there is light that fills us. And so I just pray and I, and I just encourage you to, to just be in the word and to study it, meditate on it, pray about it, and just ask God to keep pruning you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sheila. That's yes. awesome. Such an Thank awesome you. testimony of how God radically got a hold of you and changed your life. We want to encourage you to keep tuning into God TV. Sheila, here's, here's a testimony from Will right here in the U.S. And he says, I'm actually from the U.S., but my wife is from India where we're living. Oh. So they're living in India, watching you on God TV. They will be. He says, I'm away from my spirit-filled church, which is very hard and causes me to struggle. But I watch God TV to help me make it through the day. Mm. It's amazing, dear friends, what God is doing through you, through your partnership. We're able to bring Sheila into the studio and let her minister to you. We're able to promote what she's doing through Maggie. And we pray, dear friends, that God will richly bless you and touch you today. Maybe you don't know the Lord. Maybe you've never known him. Maybe you're watching right now and you say, God, I've heard and I want to believe. Just say this simple prayer. It's not the words, it's the heart. Just say, Father, I believe. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I ask you to come into my heart and make me a new creation. I make you, Lord Jesus, my Savior and my Lord. I turn from my sin. I repent of all of my sins and I give my life to you. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus, and make me a new creation. It's a simple prayer, dear friends. And if you've prayed that prayer, we ask you to call us, write us, let us know. We'll send you some materials. We'll pray for you. We'll help you. Sheila, thank you for being thank on the you. program. Thank you for what you're doing for the kingdom of God. Dear friends, we love you. Thank you for watching Today with Ward. And until next week, please go and tell somebody about Jesus. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Today with Ward. Please join us again next time. In the meantime, we'd love to hear from you. Please email today at God.tv. Also, please consider becoming a God TV partner. For more information, visit God.tv.